Hello, everyone, and welcome to my channel, where I break down the endings of your favorite TV shows. Today, we're going to talk about the finale of True Detective Season 4, Night Country, and what it means for the fate of Detective Evangeline Navarro, played by Callie Reese. If you haven't watched the season yet, be warned, there will be spoilers ahead. The season follows Navarro and her partner, Liz Dambers, played by Jodie Foster, as they investigate a series of mysterious deaths in a remote Alaskan town. They discover that a group of scientists working at a secret facility under the ice are behind the murders, and that they are obsessed with a microorganism that could potentially change the course of human history. The scientists are willing to kill anyone who gets in their way, including Navarro's sister, Annie, who was an environmental activist. In the final episode, Navarro and Danvers confront the leader of the scientists, Raymond Clark, who reveals that he was the one who killed Annie, out of mercy, after she was tortured by his colleagues. He also confesses that he is the one who created the corpsicle, a frozen body, composed of different parts from the victims, as a way of sending a message to the world. He then shoots himself in the head, leaving Navarro and Danvers with more questions than answers. The episode ends with an extended epilogue, where we see the aftermath of the case. Danvers returns to her family, and tries to cope with the trauma she experienced. Navarro, on the other hand, disappears. The last time we see her, she is walking out onto the ice, following the footsteps of her sister, who did the same thing before she died. The show leaves it ambiguous whether Navarro is alive or dead, or whether she is going to find herself or join her sister in the afterlife. So, what does this ending mean for Navarro? Well, according to the showrunner, Issa Lopez, and the actress, Callie Reese, there are multiple ways to interpret it. In an interview with Deadline, they said that the ending is designed to be an ink block test for the audience, and that they have their own opinions, but they don't want to impose them on the viewers. Lopez said that Navarro has a calling to the beyond, and that she either surrenders to it, or goes on a walkabout to find herself. Reese said that Navarro has nothing left to hold her back, and that she can either go off the deep end, or go to a place where she can be herself. They both agreed that the only person Navarro would ever come back to see, in any form, would be Danvers. Other sources have also offered their own interpretations of the ending. Some have suggested that Navarro is following a spiritual path, and that she is connecting with the native culture of Alaska, which has a strong respect for nature and the ancestors. Others have argued that Navarro is suicidal, and that she is giving up on life, after losing her sister and being betrayed by her lover, Clark. Some have even speculated that Navarro is not really walking on the ice, but that she is hallucinating, or that the scene is a metaphor for her mental state. Whatever the case may be, the ending of True Detective Season 4 is certainly open to interpretation, and that's part of what makes it so intriguing. It invites the audience to reflect on the themes of the season, such as obsession, corruption, isolation, and redemption, and to form their own conclusions. It also leaves the door open for a possible return of Navarro, if the show ever gets renewed for a fifth season. What do you think of the ending of True Detective Season 4? Do you think Navarro is alive or dead? Do you think she found peace or despair? Let me know in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.